Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another swipe at a beer review. Go do a Buxton beer. <coughs> Excuse me, one, Buxton, one of my uh, favourite <coughs> uh, breweries at the moment. Um, and where I get my beers, so the place, one of the places I get my beers in uh, Barton's and Aston Makerfield seems to have uh, get a, red, a readily, um, readily available and I always have a, a decent supply coming through. Um, so I bought three today. Um, I bought um, Ramberget. This is the collaboration with Dougie's out of Holland. Uh, Claw Track. It's the, the uh, Indian Pale Ale. And the one that I'm going to do today is the uh, Sunriser Orange and Lemon Pale Ale. Nice little can this. I like the, I like the bright and colourful artwork. The daisies of the tree. And um, this is a... 4.7% orange and lemon pale in the 2019 version of our juicy breakfast beer brewed with oranges and lemons and it says so there um, canned on the 11th of March 19 the best before the 11th of March 20 again says so right there cost me 4 quid so let's crack on let's pop a top let's see what we've got We go so beer in a glass what are we looking at we've got ourselves a hazy cloudy now you're seeing it it looks orange from what i'm looking at from this side of the glass it is a very light yellow it's a nice bit of carbonation and i see the glass the camera can pick that up it's a bit round here roll up into the into what is a finger of white rocky head it looks really really nice i would if i was so wants to give me that because that looks like um sort of a double IPA, a New England style IPA. Oh. So let's get a nose so we can smell. <sighs> subtle oranges, subtle lemon, tinge of metallics. Don't worry about it really. So, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Carbonation is really, really light. Body is really nice as well. It's a little bit on the watery side. Um, Flavour-wise, let's go for a big gobful. There's a whole a homemade orange juice and homemade lemonade flavour to this. You get the orange peel, lemon peel. Again, subtle flavours, subtle orange peel, subtle lemon lemon peel. But there is that tinge of a tash on the nose, it's transferring through into the beverage. So it's a little bit of metal going on, a little bit, maybe a bit alka seltzer yeah, It's like if you have a, when you're, when you're a child, I've said this before in the reviews, and you're doing some orange, you're pouring yourself some orange, or someone making you an orange cordial, and you put the faintest drop of orange in it, that's what this is. I dare say this will be fantastic, really cold. It's okay. It's a little bit washed out towards the end. Not the greatest from Buxton, I must admit. In fact, if I'm being honest with you, this is probably the worst Buxton beer I've had. And I've had some belters. It's not what I was thought it was going to taste like. I thought it would be really pungent. But 4.7, I mean, it's a breakfast beer. <sighs> Session your ass off if you wanted to. But I don't know if I'd want to, if I'm being honest. Like I said, it's all very subtle flavours. Nothing jumps out and smacks you in the face. 
It's what I thought it might, it might do. And this tinge of metallics from the can. And the, like I said, the alka seltzeriness of it all. It's a bit sort of chalky. It's okay. It's not great. So there you go. Buxton's Sunriser. Um, if you had this beer, let me know what you think. Put a little comment below. And... Uh, Excuse me. There'll be a link to the books and website where you can actually buy this, and all the other ones that I've picked up as well. I. Um, if you're watching for the first time, like the video, do that. Like the video, do that. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, if you see this out and about, pick it up. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. Here, the end.